What's going on? Lane here. I'm out here on Newport Bay. It's about 4.30 in the afternoon. I'm here for a little sundown bite. There's Sophie in the background, but this is her first time out on the kayak, see if we can catch a few spotties, but sun's going down. Water's murky. Water's about 68 and a half, 69 degrees. Uh, we got a nice, strong, outgoing tide and some biting fish. So uh, we'll check back in with you when we're bit. Okay, it's tiny, but it counts. First fish of the session. He's really small, but it feels good to catch a fish. Just fishing that A rig over the grass. It's about 15 feet deep right now. Tide's pretty much peak height. Uh, the water's 68.9 degrees. It's murky. There's a lot of floating grass, but this is all the conditions that I like to fish. Um, so we'll see. The fishing's been a little slow the last few days, but uh, showing good signs so far. Oh! oh, he came off. Did you see that? Um. Oh my God, dude. No, it was just sitting. It's a fat bass. Oh dude, it's a nice one. Dude, it was literally just sitting there. And he came up and grabbed it. Dude, that was sick. On the pause, I was like turned around. Yeah? <laughs> Betsy, nice one. Later, buddy. So the zone I'm in right now, it's basically just a grass flat. There's patches of grass all through these mooring cans. We got an outgoing tide, meaning tide is high now. It's coming from this way and the current is going this way with a dropping tide. So it's going right now from right to left. The wind is coming at a bit of an angle. The wind is coming almost perfectly straight on with my kayak now. So what I'm doing is keeping myself positioned towards the wind. The wind is a little stronger than the current and I'm casting into the wind. So when my bait lands and it sinks down, the current is pushing it this way as it's coming in. So it's not coming straight to the kayak. It's coming at a bit of an angle. I'm not bringing the bait with the current or against the current. I'm bringing it across the current and that's what's getting these fish to bite. Oh! So I just got a bite there. The fish didn't stick, but the fish actually bit the blade. So that's the thing about fishing in uh, the A-Rig with premium blades. These, these blades attract the bass, right? From a, from a long ways out sometimes. So that fish comes up and it grabs the blade. That's why it's important when you get those bites to keep winding. Like I've explained before in, in previous videos, um, when you get a bite like that, it's good to keep winding. Like in the wild, if a, if a bait fish gets bit by a bass, it's not gonna it's not gonna stop. It's not gonna sit there like uh, like most people would think. When you get bit, you want to keep it moving to get that bass fired up so it'll come back again. Unfortunately, in this case, it didn't come back. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Did you guys just get here? Dude, dude, move. Yeah. 
up here. Big body. Slime, dude. Big old fat one. Square fish. Sick. Get a release. Oh, we got a biter. Tiny little guy. tops of the grass that same deal got a little point right here the tides coming out so it's coming this way and this way and kind of creating a swirl in this little zone right here usually you can pick a few fish off of this spot oh my god too bad another eric biter in the low light the sun's going down clouds are out killer sunset now we need it on the sink oh. sundown bite the eric is just crushing them today All right, that's gonna do it for an afternoon session fishing in Newport Bay. Only on the water for like four hours, but we got a good amount of fish. Overall, the bite was pretty good, but they could only, they were only eating the A-Rig really. We got a couple on the ax blade, a couple bites on the swim bait, but they wanted that moving bait down low with the blades. Um, overall, good time though. Uh, if you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Make sure to check out Warbaits at warbaits.com and check them out on Instagram. You can find me on Instagram at lane.killian. See you in the next video or I'll see you out on the water. Peace.